are with MouthToEars.com. And we are here with Miss Kendra C. Johnson. She is a star of Love Thy Neighbor. Oh, I am. Yes, you are. Oh. How does that feel? It feels amazing. Tell me a little bit about your background. I know you oh. mentioned before oh. Queen Latifah. You were oh, my yeah, right, professional background. I got my start in the business um, as stand in and body double for Queen Latifah. And that, and then I, I, I was taking class and um, I got an agent and began auditioning and then, you know, began booking my own principal roles and I did, uh, my first film was Fat Girls with Monique. I started alongside her, I played her best friend in the movie Fat Girls and um, I did uh, The Shield, Strong Medicine, Bones, I had a recurring role on The Game, okay. Malik. Um, which Tika and I have in common. Exactly. How funny is that? So now you're playing Linda on Love Thy Neighbor. Yeah. How has your professional background, everything that you have done, prepared you to come into this very strong role that is pretty much really centered around I you? I think that my, um, honestly, Mr. Perry has his own unique formula of working. So much so that I don't know if anything you've done before can prepare you for what for what you do with him. But um, but it's definitely um, I don't know. Maybe just maybe having the balance of how I worked before and. And, 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 and using the pieces of that that were appropriate, um, that fit appropriately into Mr. Perry's formula because I think you have to, you, this, is, this is where I am, this is what I'm doing now, and this is what I had to conform to. And it was a lot of work and it was crazy. Now in real life, you are a mom. I do. You also play a mom on the show. I do. But in real life, you're, you're a mother to a daughter. Yes. But on the show, you're a mother to a son. So when you read the role, how did you figure that you would just make it just work for you because raising a daughter, raising a son, it's totally it's good. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, actually, I was excited because I've played a mother before and every time I've played a mother on television, I've had a son and I'm anxious to have a son when I, when I get married. Um, when I get married. It just means something to me every time I, I, I randomly am a parent and it happens to be to a son. But um, the, there, there, are, there are differences that became learning experiences even for me as you know I would read a new script and see and feel kind of where Mr. Perry was going with something in the writing and um, I've been able to discover perhaps some of the things that I thought you know would be the same and wouldn't really be a big deal because it's a kid it's a kid but it's not the same and, it, and I think there are different things that a mother can give a son than a mother gives a daughter. And there are things that um, a son will need to learn to be a man. It just, I think, made me more ap appreciate more, perhaps, the role of the father right. in raising a son. For them to be there. Yeah. It's very important that they are there. It is, it is. For girls and boys, but just in a different the way. about when you do have a mother raising a son, he does learn how to treat that woman. Right. And when he gets her into protect her, just like he would protect his mother. Right. And my Danny protects me. Yes, he does. He does not play about his mama. <laughs> now, how long did it take you guys to film the first season? We filmed it like yesterday. <laughs> That's what it felt like. Um, I believe, if I remember correctly, we filmed 26 episodes in under two months. This, this is what I believe, and this is how I felt. And because, I mean, yes, it was very, like, stressful and nerve-wracking. I'm like, oh my gosh, I hope I'm doing this right, and I hope this is what he wants, and whatever. But what I had to sit in and, and, and really believe and become comfortable with was what he told me. You know, he, he chose me because he believed that I could do it. He's a very spiritual person. Yes. So how important was that for you in working? It, it was yeah. extremely important because a lot of times, it's one thing, you know, you have your quiet time with the Lord in the morning yourself, well, I do. And, you know, you, you, you pray, you have your family and friends praying for you, whatever. But to be able to, but no matter what happened prior, to be able to begin our day 
with every, with you know, the people that you're about to work with, and we all stand together, hand in hand. All right, so working with Tyler Perry, he's very, he's very funny guy, especially when it comes to all the different costumes that he can just get in and all the ideas that he has. Can you recall like one of the funniest moments being on set? There were so many. <laughs> um, oh my gosh, one of the funniest moments. Oh, mm. It wasn't funny to me, but everybody else laughed. <laughs> it was about me. He's very, um, there's a joke, a running joke in the show about my character having a very large head. Mm. In real life? Oh, in the show. Okay. <laughs> However, I have the same head on the show that is mounted on my shoulders in real life. Today? <laughs> yes. Okay. This one. <laughs> Which I think is very proportionate to the rest of me. But uh, but anyway, so there's this there's a running joke in there about it. And we're doing an, a certain this one episode and my hair kept falling. And I'm a sweater. I sweat, perspire, I glisten, I glow. You glow. Yes. Glow. And um and I was glistening a bit and my hair was falling. So Mr. Perry, he's like cut, where's hair? Where's makeup? He said, I need the entire hair department, the entire makeup department, everybody on that head at once. Oh, why, are you, why are you laughing? Okay. Well, I said it wasn't funny too. But, um, but yeah, so that, that was a, a moment I relive more than I care to admit <laughs> in my head. Well, but, um, as I'm looking at you right now in life, in living color, in person, in the flesh, your head seems to go with the rest of your body. Thank it does. Yes. So we will put that announcement out there. Yes. So no confusion. Yes. <laughs> yes. My head belongs on this boat. Right. <laughs> <laughs> As you were filming the show, mm -hmm. was there ever a moment that you felt it was hard for you to make a connection with your role? Mm -hmm. No. I, I don't. Um, once I. Like I said, once I allowed myself to trust Mr. Perry, and we had a great conversation about who he saw Linda as, and and where she is in me, where I am in her. Once I allowed it to the connection to happen, I don't feel like there was anything in particular that was like, oh my gosh, like you know, I can't relate, I can't connect, I can't. I think Linda is very relatable. I think who she is, what she goes through, what she deals with, with her mother, her uncle, her son, on both ends of the spectrum, you know, you're you're going to see something you relate to in there. And she's just she's a real woman. She's a mother, she's a daughter, she's a strong woman, she's a wife, all of these things. You know, she makes great decisions, she makes some bad decisions. Um, but you know, but whatever they are, she deals with them. Um, what, are, what is one of the things that you do for yourself to get you in care? I believe, I believed as we went through this experience that as long as I stay, no matter what we, no matter how difficult something was, um, and difficult, by difficult I really mean just the pace of it all. Just learning these four scripts for tomorrow. Right. You know, or whatever, you know, whatever, no matter what the pace of it was and what, you know, what things may have been, um, a little challenging, if I remained in a space of humility and gratitude, then I was able to get through and and show up as I needed to for each task. All right, well, this has been awesome. I'm definitely excited to see the show. Mm -hmm. Just meeting you has made me definitely really Aww. want to watch the show even more. Thank you. Hey, what's up, mouth to ears? This is Kendra C. Johnson. Catch me Wednesday night, beginning May 29th on OWN, 9 p.m. in Tyler Perry's Love Island.